Hello people, <clears throat> welcome to the month of February 2023. Um, it's like a spring day here, high clouds and uh, a real spring feeling to, to today. Totally different than my last video in Talonstown in the month of January there, um, where I felt very claustrophobic. It was actually the most, the worst psychologically depressing month of January I had in years. Um, yeah, so it's amazing what, you know, a couple of weeks could do. Um, yeah, so I'm going over to a place here called the Hill of Tar. I'll explain more when I get there, right? But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. It reminds me of that song from U2. It's a beautiful day. Um, you know something? I don't even have one album of U2. Not one album. Um, I'm not saying I'm not into U2, but I just don't have one album of U2. I have loads and loads of albums of other bands and stuff, but not of U2. Um, and you know that if you spell Bono backwards, you get O Knob. Um, so again, I'm taking uh, country roads that are like I, I, I could go straight towards the town of Navan, um, but I decided I'd go cross country again towards um, the Hill of Tara because I, I love all these country roads, right? So I'll turn the camera around here and have a little look at the country roads I'm driving on here, okay? <laughs> Tree uh, road here, kind of heading south as if I'm going towards Dublin, right? The M3 motorway is over here on my right, and I'm going to turn on the second, that's the first turn here now. I'm going to take a turn on the second turn here up to the Hill of Tara. Uh, it, it's a real historical site, this um, one of the most important historical sites in Ireland, actually. So, turn right here up this little road here. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful day, my friends. It's a beautiful day. It really is. The difference, the difference that the sun can make to your mood is just incredible, incredible. And the high clouds, I don't feel claustrophobic, you know what I mean? Amazing. So this is a typical country road here in Ireland, my friends. Tara. Um, it's 8 degrees centigrade there so I'll have to put on my coat here because we're going up, up up onto the hill over here right this is where the hill of Tara is here right and there's a fantastic view on a clear day now you can see right back towards Dublin you can see the Wicklow mountains um, and you can see westward I don't know how far westward you can see you can see north way up to the up to Northern Ireland and the Moorin Mountains and the Cooley Mountains and all up that direction. And I'm going in now, of course, for a cup of tea, my friends. So you're all welcome to join me. And I absolutely love this cafe in here. <clears throat> it's called Maguire's. And they also have a shop here that's a lovely shop. All um, You'll get books here to do with the Hill of Tara and, you know, other old ancient um, stories about Ireland and kind of Celtic design stuff. In here as well, so yeah. So let's go in and we'll um, get a cup of tea, okay?
that's a cool idea isn't it erected to um, a loyal friend now look see the farmland over here isn't it just fantastic isn't it and on, on a summer's day if you come up here in the summertime and see this little wall here if you had a little cushion in your car right you just sit down here and you could you, you could go in and get a takeaway tea in in the cafe there or bring your own picnic and just sit down and chill and watch people and the sun shining and everything it's just fantastic right let's go in here <coughs> Right people, that, that there is a fantastic shop, a fantastic shop, especially for tourists. Um, really, really good. Um, right, so, oh, it's a bit cold here now. So yeah, I'm gonna go up now onto the Hill of Tara here to show you the Hill of Tara, okay? So just come around here to show you this little tractor around here they have. So I think it's cool, look. It's called a Massey Ferguson 135. And this is probably goes back to the bit, I don't know, the 40s or 50s maybe. It's cool, isn't it? Well, I think it's brilliant anyway. Ooh, I better put on my hat, my friends. Better put on my hat and close my coat. It's cold. Right, there's information signs here all about the Hill of Tara. So what I'll do is, I'll film reading on the information signs. Then when I'm up on the hill, I'll film like each, each part of the information, if you know what I mean, okay? So it's saying here, the Hill of Tara is Ireland's most revered ancient landscape. A place where monuments, myths and memories combine to create an icon, an icon of national identity. Tara was the chief pagan sanctuary of early Ireland, an arena for ceremony, burial and ritual. 25 monuments are visible as earthworks on the hill of Tara. Archaeologists have detected a fort of 50 buried beneath the soil. The five principal roads of ancient Ireland converged on this place and Tara's influence radiated into the surrounding countryside where many related monuments are to be found. Um, 
The story of Tara starts in the late 4th millennium, before the birth of Christ, when a communal burial place, passage tomb, Duma Nagel, was constructed on the hill. So began Tara's role as a place of burial, a role that was to endure for over three millennia. Generation after generation added their imprint, each reflecting and referencing the monuments that had gone before. In so doing, communities engaged with the sacred world by erecting some of the most spectacular ceremonial monuments of prehistoric Ireland. It is likely that the great processional avenue, known as the Tec Mid Curata, and the large ceremonial enclosure, the Henge, was constructed towards the end of the Stone Age. Funerary barrows like the Cleon Ferta are Bronze Age and Iron Age burial places. Perhaps they hold the remains of those who constructed the vast ceremonial sanctuary of Ratna Rig, which crowns the Hill of Tara and prestigious dwellings such as Ratna Sen Senad. Eventually, the prestige of Tara's past was har har harnessed as a symbol of a national kinship. To be crowned King of Cara was to be accepted as King of Ireland. The Banquet Hall, 3000 BC and Royal Inauguration Monument, AD 600. The Banquet Hall, located to the north of the Rat of the Synods, is a sunken linear avenue that may have originated as a Neolithic ceremonial monument. It is likely that it was subsequently used in the rituals surrounding the inauguration of the Kings of Tara. Rat of the Synods, positioned on level ground to the north of the great sanctuary of Ratnarig, the Rat of the Synods was a key centre within the Tara complex throughout late, later prehistory. Over a period of about 700 years, it was transformed from a series of open air timber temples into a cemetery and finally into the residence for a powerful elite with connections to the Roman world. The Neolithic passage tomb, known as the Mound of the Hostages, is situated near the summit of the Hill of Tara and is the oldest of the 25 visible monuments here. It marks Tara's beginning as a prehistoric burial place, a role that was to continue for three and a half thousand years. When excavated in the 1950s, the passage was found to contain a mass of cremators and unburnt human bone. The remains of over 300 men and women and children, clay pots, necklace beads and bone pins accompanied the interments. The wealth and variety of these artefacts and the number of interments set the site apart from contemporary burial places in Ireland and Britain. The Standing Stone. A stone pillar stands at the centre of the forehead and is traditionally known as the Lea Fail, a stone associated with the inauguration of the Kings of Tara. It is a white granite stone of phallic shape and therefore presumably a fertility symbol. The stone is reputed to have originally stood beside Duma Nagel. It was re-erected on the top of the forehead in 1824 to mark the last resting place of some of the 400 United Irish men who were killed in the Battle of Tara in 1798. Yeah, so this is the mound of the hostages here, right? This is a burial chamber that's 6,000 years old and they claim that, that it's the smallest burial chamber they found in Ireland so far, right? But it's a burial chamber from 6,000 years old and look at the stone in here. There's a stone in here 
and it's got carvings on it and I'm wondering is the carvings from around that time period or it's obviously an old, old carvings on this stone, look. I don't know if you can see that there. Carvings on the stone, like circular Celtic type carvings on that stone. Amazing. See the roof of it? Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? So, um, this is, is that stone, you know, uh, I think it's, it was the inauguration stone of all the High Kings of Ireland. They'd come up here and to be inaugurated, right? Or coronated, whatever word you want to use, but I think this stone here is 6,000 years old, right? And it's only after recently been vandalised that after, uh, you can barely see it here on it now, somebody spray painted all around it here, fake, right? Now that stone has been moved from its uh, orig original pos position, I think, to here. Um, but, um, yeah, so, it's an amazing to think that stone is 6,000 years old, isn't it? Now, you see this direction here? That direction is south. And don't know if you can see it on the GoPro here, but I can see the Dublin Wicklow Mountains here, right? And just over there, it, well, in that direction there, is Dublin City. Um, and on a clear day here, you're supposed to be able to see 12 counties of Ireland from here. So, that direction there is looking west, towards the west of Ireland direction there. And obviously, that direction there is towards Northern Ireland. Up that way, that's north. Yeah, so... A very one, one, one of the, the big historical sites in the country, my friends, the Hill of Tara. Uh, it's a bit cold here today. Um, a fantastic place to come during the spring and summertime and autumn, right? And you could bring a picnic with you if you wanted and come up here and just sit down and chill. And look, look, you can walk all the way around all this big, huge, huge, massive field here. Um, yeah, I actually seen, I was up here in the summer and there was tourists just lying down there in the sunshine in their t-shirts, you know, so uh, a great place to come to my friends, great place. So in, the, in here was called Cormac's House. I think an awful lot of the, the buildings back then in time were, were wood, wood construction up here, but a very, very important site in Ireland. I know it's windy out here, my friends, but it's just lovely, lovely. Um, yeah. Look at the open space you have out here in, in the heart of the countryside. It's just, it's just amazing, you know. So pay, take a visit out here, people. Uh, the Hill of Tara in County Mead. It's possibly in the centre of Mead, maybe. Um, but anyway, well worth a visit. Now, now look at this. This is. This is not really a tree, this is like um, part of a hedge, a Horton hedge, right? And people have torn it into a wishing tree, right? So obviously one person starts off and ties something to the branch of the tree and then everybody else follows suit, right? So look, look at this here, look. See all the things tied to the tree, right? Now, Now for me, you see, call me cynical, right? I don't get this. I'm wondering, why do people feel it necessary to do things like this? Is it, did they, is, is it from a sense of loss or uh, grief or something they've, somebody has passed away, say, 
um, and are trying to reconnect with them or something or what is it? Is something it, it, are they what, what what are they wishing for? Like you know what I mean? What are they wishing for? Like um, and I feel the same about religions um, all over the world. It's the same kind of thing, right? It's like it's a comfort blanket or something, right? That, that's that's how I that's, that's how I, I, I describe things like this and religions in the world. Um, I see this as a comfort blanket, right? Why do I see it as a comfort blanket? Because it's like this, right? We all know life. The pain, the suffering, the good times, the happiness, and all this, right? But we also know about tragedy and loss and terrible, terrible, terrible heartache, you know, physical pain, emotional pain, blah, 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 right? And to me, um, say when you were a small child, right? And say, I don't know, you fell outside and you hurt your knee or something, or you, hurt, you, you fell and you cut one of your fingers or something, and you run in frightened, and normally it's your mother, right? So you go in and um, cry, Mama, I fell, I fell, and I hurt my knee. And what does your mother do? She embraces you. Well, hopefully she does. She embraces you and tells you, kisses your, your, your hand where the little cut is, and it makes you feel better and more secure, right? So, my take on all the religions and things like this here where people have to, you know, tie things on trees and make wishes and stuff like this, I think, as I said, it's a comfort blanket. They're looking for a superhuman mother and father figure, right? Um, that, the, you know, because life is so what it is, uh, it, it, it's... it's you know what I mean? To 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 make sense of the whole t the whole randomness of life, if you know what I mean. So they cling to this superhuman being called God, uh, you know, as a comfort blanket. That's my take on it, right? Um, anyway, I'm going on here in the walk, right? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the birds, but it's just fantastic. Wow, look at this burrow here. I wonder who's doing this now, my friends, look. Is that a badger, I wonder, or foxes? Can you see that? Oh, the pe peace and quiet, my friends, over here is just fantastic, fantastic. Right in the heart of the country. Now, the Hill of Tara here is in County Mead. And County Mead is the county that, county that I live in. But I live over along the, the Irish Sea there, you know, in the east coast of, um, of County Mead. Um, and if you follow all my videos, you know that I'm not into counties and borders and all that kind of crap but anyway beautiful place over here especially in the spring and the summertime it's just fantastic fantastic look there's a huge big dairy farm there and actually um the cows are out in the fields there now They're, uh, who, who, whoever the farmer is that owns the land there, he's got hundreds of dairy cattle under a breed called um, Frisian. Um, most, not really, I'd say nearly all dairy uh, farms in Ireland, the breed of cattle they have is called a Frisian and are normally black and white cows, right? And the reason why 
to that breed is because they produce the most milk. But this man here, or woman, I don't know, um, has a huge uh, dairy farm. And I'm surprised to see the cows out in the fields now because it's only um, about the, what, I don't even know what date it is. Maybe it's the 8th of February or something, right? But um, it's unusual to see the cows out now. It's usually next month in March. Actually, after St. Patrick's Day, you see all the, the cattle being put back out on, onto the land, you know? But anyway, let's just keep moving here. here in the swing will I? Somebody left a kind of little swing here. I'll have a go on it for a crack. Woohoo! Woohoo! This is the life my friends, this is the life! Right, I'm going to see, can I get out onto this road here without having to walk all the way back up to a gateway up there. So I'm going to go try and go through the ditch here if I can, right? And my matter what, let's have a go at this my friends, let's have a go at this. Briar shit. Okay, here we go. Right, briars. Okay, smashed them down there. No, oh, you dickhead briars. Dickheads. Whew. Okay. Now to negotiate around here. Holy shit, briars. Sticking in me. Bastards. Shit. I wonder if this is a good idea at all. Anyway. Ow. Fucking briars. Ah, oh, I meant one stuck on me. Ah. <clears throat> Bastard. Okay, okay. Now. Grab here. Okay. Shit. Okay. Okay, look at the steam here, my friends. Oh shit. Almost there. Oh. Right. I'm a lunatic, am I? No. Oh lord. Shit. Double shit. Okay. Right, I made it. I made it. Aren't these roads just cool, aren't they? Look at the countryside, my friends. Just look at that. So I'm just going down here a bit because that big field of cows that you could see from, you know, from inside on the hill of Tara are just down here. So just going down, just going down and have a look at these cows, okay? Look, the peacefulness of, of this road here at the minute. Look, no cars at the minute anyway. Amazing, amazing my friends, amazing.
Like you see the trees here covered covered in ivy, right? Now the ivy would kill though would eventually kill those trees, right? But if you cut around the stem of the ivy, you know, around the tree, all that ivy will die. But you know something, do you know uh, what board loves loves the ivy? The pigeons. Pigeons pigeons love nesting in, 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 in trees with ivy in them. Now look here, here here's that field now of of cows in here, look, dairy cattle. That's super cool, isn't it? Wow. Hello, cows. Are you as well? Hello, Miss Cow. Hello. And how are you today? Are you well? Are you well? You got a bad cough there. Why are you, why are they all just sitting down and chilling down there? I have one of my sisters, right? She absolutely loves cows. She loves them. Anyway, bye. See you again. Bye. Take care. Bye. Woo! I have to walk all the way back up to uh, the cafe, all the way up here on this skinny little road. Place you can sit in, and there's like the covering of the engine of an old tractor, and they're using it as a table, which is a great idea, you know. You see, um, this building here. Uh, in, it's, it's closed there now, but in the summertime that's like an old book shop. So you can go in there and get books. I forget what this building here is, right? And here is, uh, look, Tara Open Studio. Look at it, look at the jack dot trying to get the feed. Look, little feeder there for them. So it's saying it's open. And here is like a little kind of, I don't know what you call this, Buddha type shrine or something a uh, new age or something or celtic it's celtic there really. so it says this is a water feature please do not drink the water you are more than welcome to make a wish though look at a little sparrow <laughs> take a walk down here and show you there's a well down here right now um, I don't know what this one is whether it's a holy well a wishing well or whatever it is anyway if it's if it's a holy well I always say it was hijacked by the by Christianity you know what I mean because wells are, are, have been in Ireland for centuries right so millennia should I say right so anyway just keep walking down here just yeah I think it's a holy well it's saying down here right okay let's go down here
Now, you see this gate here into the field, right? Now, going back, I'd say, from the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, and possibly the 70s, farmer's gates would have been roughly about that, that width there, that size there. Because remember, um, you know, modern-day tractors would, would, would need a big, massive, wide, well, a wider gate than that. And modern-day combines, you know what I mean, and modern-day farm machinery. So on average gateways in through fields and farms would have been about that width there right so there's more lovely green lush irish countryside there that just looks to me like, like it's all grassland please close the gate i will So here's Jack's seat. There's daffodils uh, going to come out now soon enough, I'd say. And here is a tree called Dinny's tree. So here's the well, my friends. What's the saying here? The well at Tara. This is one of the six wells of Tara listed in the ancient documents. Down the generations, it has borne many names. This is how it was described in the Dinsentius of Tara. The Caprag of Cormac is eastward from the Rat of the Kings. It is the well of the Numberian of the clans. Dark Eye, the healer. The well of the White Cow. Three names to designate it to make known the well of Tara. It was later called King Cormac's Well and then St. Patrick's Well. Um, so it's saying that this tree here which is dedicated to Dinny right um, it's saying down here in 2000 the landowner Dinny Donnelly generously gave his permission for the Friends of Tara group and the National Well Restoration Society uh, to restore this well so obviously that man Dini has passed on and Jack has passed on. But isn't that cool, isn't it? Like they have a seat there to remember Jack and a tree to remember Dini. That's, that's nice. Let's go over and look at this well here, my friends. So you could probably even sit there during the summertime if you wanted to. And I can see some daffodils again starting to shoot up here. And there's some snowdrops up there. And some of these have to leave feeders here for the boards, isn't that cool? Ah, oh, look, little green tits and blue tits and sparrows. Ah, oh, that's super cool. Super cool. Hello, little birds. Are you as well? Are you getting your dinner, yeah? Are you getting your dinner? Hello. That's super cool, isn't it? Like, you know, obviously people put up, up the feeders and there's the boards. You can't beat nature, my friends. You can't beat nature. So what do you think of the well? Right, let's go back up, up, up the street here now, back towards um, the cafe direction. And listen, what I'm going to do now is... Um, yeah, so what I'll do is, at the end of the video here, I'll put up pictures I took of up here during the summertime so you'll get a better perspective, you know, in the sunshine and, you know, just a nicer time of the year, you know? So uh, watch out for the pictures at the end of the video, okay? people so that's it from uh, the hill of tara one of the most historical sites in ireland here where uh, i suppose myth and legend and uh, 
coexist here uh, the high kings of ireland and you know so i didn't really give you much information because i'm a bit lazy right um anyway uh if you're in ireland on a holiday uh check it out the the head of tower it's 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 a great it's a it's i find it real relaxing i have to say real relaxing especially if you come here during the summertime it's just amazing right so and i love that cafe there called mcguire's cafe and the shop and and, and uh yeah just the whole area around here the ambience of the whole area so anyway people that's it from the head of tara um check out the photographs at the end of the video here um and i'll see you all in the next video i have no idea where it's going to be my friends but it'll be somewhere so stay tuned for that my friends stay tuned okay bye